Let's see yeah, because this is your thing, right? This is like the, you know, the on fire guys are going to be doing this together, right? Solidarity. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's like facial hair. I think is the main thing for Movember, right? Like, just you grow a beard, you grow you grow some kind of facial hair. I... But Mo is for <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Mo is for mustache, right? M is for mustache. Only Mo you'll ever see on E League again. Jesus. It's night at the improv now, guys. This is hilarious. <laughs> That's actually the best one I've done in a while. Well, there's a burn. Uh, your feud with Thorin and E-Lead. I don't really have a feud with E-Lead, um, but because E-Lead is kind of um, kind of ran by Richard Lewis in terms of the talent, is kind of he's kind of the head guy of the talent. So uh, Richard just happens to have these uh, like uh, things he stands by, and shit. I don't know what it is, but basically him and Thorin are like a package from a long time ago. So when me, when I came to E-Lead. I came under depression to fill out just for one week. Um, okay, so back to E-League. So with E-League, uh, I was supposed to go for one week for Thorin, okay? Thorin had visa issues. He couldn't get there. Week one, they called me. Uh, they had also Dust Murat. Me and Dust Murat were both kind of like, uh, almost tr like being both kind of auditioning at the same time throughout the week for who's going to make it onto TV. Uh, I thought we were both going to be on TV for the first week because that's what they said. But then they changed it last minute to uh, they were just going to use me uh, on Friday for the actual TV broadcast. Uh, which obviously, like, I took the opportunity. Why not, right? So, because week one of E-League was received so, so well by the community, uh, E-League, like, was like, dude, we need you, like, you know, can you do another week? And I was like, yeah, uh, I think I can. I just got to go back home for a day and I'll come back. So I went back, got more clothes and stuff, came back did week two after week two there were talks about me uh doing week three and potentially doing more weeks down the line right and the reason for these talks was mainly because thorin was really really mad uh because of the of all the people that actually thought i did a good job he was actually mad like he threatened to not even come to e-lead and he started accusing e-lead of doing this on purpose and they don't really want him and they just fucking they're trolling him and they're doing all this shit so he kind of got so paranoid about this idea right uh in the meantime i was just doing my job after week three came along and passed they he they finally got their visa sorted with thorin and you know i don't know what they had to do they had to basically they had to kind of convince thorin to come or something i don't know what it was exactly but from what i heard he was uh he was being a real pain to e-lead and very like uh, there was uh, he was doing a lot of fucked up shit back then to kind of piss off Elite because he thought Elite was trying to get uh, you know was trying to get at him for something by using me or whatever. At the end of the day, I came, I did a job, and I left. Right? There was never any I, first off, I never even signed a contract or anything with uh, Elite. I literally just without a contract, just on my word, went and did my job and left. Then um, after the three weeks were up, that whole CSGO Diamond shit happened, right? And uh, Richard kind of used that CSGO Diamond thing as a reason like, oh, I don't think we're ever going to have you back on. As, as if I was supposed, I was never supposed to be back on in the first place. But if he means there was potential for me to be back on in the future and, and he feels that what I did was so messed up that, that I didn't deserve to be back there, I understand. It doesn't matter to me. At the end of the day, uh, and anyone will attest to this, when they actually approached me about doing something more than three weeks, I had my doubts because I said, honestly, uh, this is really taking too much time off my personal stream, my personal brand, and I want to go back to that. So there was never a talk about me like I got a job and then I got fired or any of that shit that, made, that people make it seem. So the fact that um, E-League is just sitting there kind of letting Thorin just, you know, speak his mind. That's fine with me. But I feel like everyone, I'm being misrepresented in a way because people seem to think that I got fired from E-League when that wasn't the case at all. If anything, I'm more disappointed that uh, E-League hasn't even come out and said, like, back to what I've said about just I came in at a time that they needed me. I could have easily, I could have easily said, uh, no, you know what, you guys, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Fuck E-League and just stayed home and... That's what that's what makes me kind of disappointed in Elite is that they're not saying anything in terms of what really went on behind the scenes because the truth is there and everyone knows what the truth was. Uh, there were even people that I'm not going to mention that said they prefer me as a coworker 
to Thorin, people that are working right now to elite with Thorin. So there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes. I don't care anymore. And at the end of the day, um, elite isn't something that I need to do for work, for money, for anything. They do. The, you know, some of the casters, they're full-time. This is their jobs. So these guys take it a lot more serious than I do. This is their livelihood. Uh, Thorin, I don't think he makes any money on, a, on a, or very little money probably d compared to his uh, a analyst salary uh, for writing articles and, and doing what he does and tweeting. I don't think he makes much money doing any of that shit. You know what I mean? Um, I think Thorin's entertaining. I think Thorin knows some of his shit, but I also think Thorin is... Uh, is very misinformed on a lot of things. It does. He, all he does is bring up history, and I've all I've already critiqued his way of analyzing, which I don't think it's analyzing. I think he's uh, an encyclopedia who just repeats shit that's already on paper. I don't think he uh, he gives any real meaning behind what he says. I don't think he understands the basics of the game. He doesn't understand how the game works, what pros need to do at a pro level to compete. I don't think he knows any of that. But that doesn't mean he's not um, good at what he does. He's good at reciting what happened you know 14 years ago in a cpl match because that's very relevant to what we're doing now you know uh someone if uh someone's style that i like more as an analyst i liked moses i think moses knows a shit ton about the game i used to watch moses when i was a little kid i used to watch him and his brother I used to look up to them a lot and i thought i think moses knows his shit even though he hasn't competed in a long time it's still the same basic values i think sean gares is another guy that i love when he uh, when he's the analyst he's really good at it he's actually a really good analyst uh, he understands the game uh, in and out so that's another guy uh but no but uh, the other thing is i feel that thorin kind of took something personal uh against me because i was uh when we had our first initial kind of uh misunderstanding with each other i I said stuff to make him, to really trigger him, where when people thought, oh, Thorin can never be triggered, Thorin can't do this, can't do that, I said stuff to him that made him so mad that he literally, till this day, takes every chance he can get at doing anything to, to do to kind of uh, um, make fun of me or talk down upon me or anything. He takes every opportunity he gets. There's some shit that I have on Thorin, or I know about Thorin, that, I, that is so, that I hope one day gets out to the world, but I'm not going to be the one to, to you know say it because there's some fucked up shit that Thorin as a human has like has done has to people like people there's a lot of people that really dislike Thorin the human but I feel like um I really got under his skin with all the shit I said to him on Twitter and in 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 interviews or whatever so that's why I think that he's gonna hold this kind of grudge forever and it's fine with me I mean I don't think uh he's really relevant in terms of what he says at all like at all like no offense to him I know people, there's some fucking fanboys out here that are freaking out, they're like, oh my god, what do you mean Thorne's a god? Thorne knows the shit. I don't think he matters at all. I don't think he's relevant at all. And that's the truth. That's how I feel about it. If he was relevant, I would actually, it, my feelings would be hurt. You know what I mean? At least Thorne has some sort of charisma to him. You know what I mean? Even though Thorne's a, a complete douchebag, and I feel like he's someone who hides behind his illness, which, which I never am a fan of. I said this earlier. Anyone who uses, you know, any disability they have as a reason to treat people the way he does is is fucked up to me. I don't give a fuck what you have. You you shouldn't be able to use that as he literally goes out of his way to say, well, you know, I have this, so I could say this. It's stupid. It's really stupid to me. And and you, and you guys talked about like, you know, someone just said uh, people like Thorin will never forget if you do something bad or immoral. Um, there's stuff about Thorin that's worse than immoral. There's stuff about Thorin that just makes him a bad human. And, and I'm surprised, uh, I feel like when, uh, when you're friends with like Richard and all these people behind the scenes, I think they just cover, cover for him. They just cover it up because I don't, they, they know that he's important to their little system, their little ecosystem that they have going. So they're not going to just throw him under the bus. Even though with me, people were throwing him under the bus to me. People that work with him were throwing him under the bus. Tell me a lot of fucked up shit. I didn't even, I didn't hate Thorin when I was at E-League. But when I heard about the shit, he did, it made me dislike him very much before I even and I haven't seen talk to him ever like after that